Were you early yeah. on Chernobyl? Yes. Yeah. I mean, I hadn't. I um, so that process was was quite different from this. But I was. I basically I worked the music um, alongside the shooting. So I basically um, uh, the, the, they filmed most of the um, the series in Lithuania in a power plant that's being mm. decommissioned. Mm, wow. So right before they went there to shoot, I went there to record. So I went there with. Um, my score producer and Chris Watson, who who records all of the David Attenborough um, uh, films and, and uh, episodes, and so he's like he's like a master field recording engineer, and and it's just like it's just uh, it's such an experience to listen with him. So we went in there in full, you know, full suit, hazmat suits, <laughs> hazmat suits wow. and, and and everything. And um, is that why you're glowing a little yes, bit? Yes. Right? That, <laughs> That would, that, be, kind of that would be the fluorescent reason. Fluorescent <laughs> glow around you, I wondered. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, so we went there to record the power plant, and um, and we worked the score from those recordings. So every single sound in the score is made from those uh, power plant recordings. And, so, and describe so what you mean by that when you say you were, were you banging on stuff and in <clears> certain <throat> echoes, or are you playing instruments inside the power plant? No, I was I was observing the power plant, so I didn't really wanna I didn't really wanna play it as such, but I just wanted to go there and I wanted to um, I wanted to experience what it feels like to be inside a power plant because it's this it's the uh, the same situation again. It's like how I mean Chernobyl. It's it's like one of the biggest catastrophes of our lifetimes, mm -hmm. you know, and it's and and beyond our lifetimes because the the. Um, the effects of it are gonna, you know, be there long, long after we're gone, and and it's, you know, it's such a complicated story to to tell, and you know, how does that sound? Like, how does a catastrophe really feel like, and how does it sound, and how does it feel to be in that situation? And and of course, this is this is a scenario that's completely alien to me, and um, so just going there and you know wearing the clothes that these people wear and you know just smelling all the all the smells and these like long corridors that just go on for like, kilometers of corridors and just like the you know the all the women constantly cleaning the whole power plant this is like there's so many there's so many little nuances of of experiencing going there which which was just so interesting to observe just kind of and building then, the character of the power plant. Yes, exactly. And and how does that sound like? You know, so I just wanted to go there and observe what a power plant really is, because of course we, you know, we um, we associate certain sounds with with nuclear disaster. You know, the um, mm. and the dosimeters and and you know that's kind of the sound of of yeah. nuclear. But right. but there's so many other um, sounds that are there that were just so interesting to observe. So I didn't really, I didn't play much. I was mostly there um, observing and recording, recording like hours and hours and, and hours of material. Was and this then, your idea? Yeah, yeah. Is this what you do to on any project or is this something new that you wanted to try? Well, it was, uh, um, so me and, and Sam Slater who produced the score with me, um, we were just like, you know, talking back and forth like what we wanted to, do with it like how we felt that it sounded like and and um yeah so this was i mean i don't do this for every score obviously like you know for otherwise i'd be you know following killers around on sicario did you go into some tunnels on sicario did you actually <laughs> join a cartel <laughs> exactly it was it can be you know complicated <laughs> so you're do like i'm just i'm just shadowing guys yeah, I'm, exactly, yeah, I'm selling me. cocaine professionally yeah. exactly to learn how, to, how it sounds <laughs> how it sounds right i'm shooting can people. you shake that bag yeah right. exactly exactly but it was it was such an interesting process because it's um you know, making music is, um, and also just like, you know, trying to, to you know, reading scripts and, and you know, trying to, trying to f make music out of a story. It's uh, so much of it and most of it is about listening and to go into an environment purely to listen. And with, you know, like Chris Watson is just like, he is, he has the most profound listening presence you know so his presence was so i mean he's a type of person who can you know he can record ants or you know, glaciers or like whatever alive or or dead sound he can just he can record it you know 
So it was just such a profound experience to go there with him. And then to go through those recordings again with with that um, with with that uh, feeling, you know, of of just being completely present for every single sound and listening to every single sound. It was it was a little bit like gold digging, you know. So yeah. so so the kind of the big um, the big solo uh, musician of the score was this door, which just made these incredible sound you know it was it was a door to a pump room that i mean we weren't like closing it and and you know moving it at all but we were just like we just came up to this door with a microphone and then we're just like oh my god there was like all these high frequencies that were just making these like crazy crazy noises and then you know the almost inaudible but like so high pitched that you just you really had to like you know really had to focus to, to hear anything. Wow. So I would I would just like listen to this door for hours and hours and hours and then I'd be like, okay, in minute like thirty five and twenty seconds, there's this like you know, that that <laughs> just like I was like, Oh my God, there's a melody and you know, so I just like I'd take those little snippets and and they would become the, the melodic aspects of the That's of the score. so cool. So the sh- of course Chernobyl is out now on HBO. Mm-hmm. Um how did you get involved with the project in general? What was the connection there? Um, uh, we, how do you, how did that happen? I th- they just asked me to, if I was <laughs> there. <you> <laughs> That's good. They called I and was, asked. Yeah, exactly. She was just wandering around Lithuania. 